In my hands, I have two drivers that theoretically are very, very similar. However, they couldn't be any more different. You see, one of these drivers is a standard Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond driver, one of the best-selling drivers so far of 2023, one of the longest drivers that I've tested this year, and also, let's face it, one of the best-looking drivers ever to be released. So as you can imagine, it takes a lot to one-up this driver, to hit longer drives than this driver, and to think you could get better than this driver. That is literally the perfect line on this hole, and it feels like that's gone a heck of a long way. Now, the other driver that I have today is also a Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond driver. So you might think, well, James, these are pretty much exactly the same. However, this second driver features a long drive shaft. I have de-lofted the head to its lowest possible setting, and we have put it in ultimate low spin beast mode. So you can kind of see now where this video is going. Guys, we're testing these both out here on the golf course at Woolley Park and also in the Golf Sun Simulator to see if I could potentially handle this um, mega light, mega long, long swing shaft in the ultimate low spin, long drive setting. This could, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this could go one of two ways. I know which way I'm hoping it goes. I'm hoping this goes about 20 yards further. Oh, I've nailed it. It's just fading a bit. Oh, that felt so good. And just to show how well I did actually strike that, and just to show just how well I did actually strike that, that was bang out of the middle of the face. Somebody just needs to learn how to square this up more and we could have an absolute animal on our hands. So the theory behind this video is quite simple. The shaft represents the lever system in the golf club. The longer lever should provide more club head speed, which should result in more ball speed, which essentially, if I strike it properly, should result in longer drives. Now I've tried this in the past with drivers. It's fair to say the results have been rather mixed, which is why I'm so excited to try it in the Paradigm Triple Diamond because this is quite a stable club head with all its technology. 360 wrap, movable weight technology, jailbreak AI, and the forged titanium face. Come on, just keep this club face moving around the body. Yes, yes, that is the line. And what I love about that is it's not ballooned up in the air. This is still the long drive shaft. I can't wait to test that against this standard paradigm and see what happens, we'll go one more, so we've hit two of each. This feels like almost a seven iron now. And there's something to be said for hitting longer shafts, so you feel more at home with the shorter one. Like that. That is so much easier to hit straight, it really is frightening. And that's something we have to think about in this video as well, not just distance. So guys, let's get nice and active in the comments. Let me know, have you tried the new Callaway Paradigm triple diamond driver yet? Have you tried the standard Paradigm, the Paradigm X? And what driver are you using this year? Could you see yourself putting a longer shaft in there to try and get a little bit more ball speed? And already I can see some pretty big drives right down in the middle of that fairway. This is going to get fun. Don't go anywhere. So the issue is with a longer driver shaft is it does sometimes impart more spin. It's also harder to control. You can see there are three balls up there, one in the middle of the fairway, one left hand side and one left hand side of the rough. This ball down in the rough was the first one with the long drive shaft. It felt like I couldn't really square it up. I'm going to try harder on the next one. We're tiny bit into the wind. That's not going to help as well. You need to be able to attack the ball so you kind of take spin off it whilst imparting the club head speed that gives you the ball speed that gives you the distance. I feel like a science teacher. Um, I actually didn't do very well in science, so I don't feel like a science teacher, but I'm enjoying myself, and I hope you are too. We are talking fractional gains here, but the long drive shaft is just in front. Look how consistent they are, by the way. That speaks volumes about the Paradigm Triple Diamond when you do hit it out the middle. That consistency is ridiculous. And we've got another couple of yards out the long drive shaft. A lot more to come. Okay, this next par four is a drivable par four straight over and out of bounds. So you have to be able to hit this a long way. You also have to be quite accurate. And just like the real game of golf, we're only getting one chance at this, obviously with each driver to see which one might perform best for me when I'm in full attack mode. So driver number one, which will be the standard stealth, is a seed number three. I'm testing these balls in a minute, actually quite enjoying them. And the long drive paradigm will be the number four ball. So. Let's see if we can carry that out of bounds and get close to this flag. Right, standard paradigm triple diamond, nine degree. 
nice neutral weight setting from the fitting. Can we go over this corner? Gonna have to work this hard. That should be good. There's the perfect line. And I haven't heard any foliage, which is always a good sign. Wasn't the best strike, which fills me with confidence actually, for this long drive head. Come on, keep it nice and square. Stra square that face up, feel like it turns. Oh yeah, that is ridiculous. Still had the fade on it. I, I feel like I have to really turn the club round just to square this face up. I still had a fade on it, but that was miles better strike. You do not want to miss this comparison on the Golf Swan Simulator. Seems to be missing a driver. So guys, get in the comments again. It's buggy time again. How much accuracy would you sacrifice for how much yardage? I find this interesting because if you think about stroke gain percentage, you're always best off being a bit further up if you're only a bit offline, which is my method behind the madness in this video. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing which ball's closest here. I think they should both be over. They were both enough struck to be over there, but the long drive one could even be long because I absolutely nailed it. I have forgot which ball number's which though, so I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the footage to tell you. I think number four was the long one. Was it? But drive number one, which will be the standard stealth, is a seed number three. And the long drive paradigm will be the number four ball. And just look what we have here. We have one middle of the green there and another ball just in this bunker, which is actually playing, yes, it's a right hand bunker, but we've came this way over the trees. So that is a ball that's just ever so slightly short. I would bet that is the long shaft and I would bet this is a seed three. Can we see from here? No, that is on the wrong line. Which ball is it? If this is the longer shaft, now that is the seed three. I will uh, mark you that and show you. And the interesting thing for me here is how much now is this going to affect the score I take on this hole? I mean, the bunker, it's on an upslope. It's not a great light. It's not the easiest of bunker shots. Whereas that should be a kind of two put birdie you would think. Just to show you that is the seed three ball. I will pop this back exactly where it was. It wasn't there, it was there. Again, not a great line, there's a bit of sand behind the ball. So can we make a worse par? That's not a bad shot from that lie, but it's certainly not going to be as close as we're going to be from the putt. Guys, stay tuned, we're going to jump in the studio in just a second's time on the golf sun, see what the big differences are, then we're going to take on one last hole out here for a beautiful day on the golf course. Whilst it is mega important to be able to use the shaft out on the golf course because obviously that is where we are going to be trying to score, I also like to get the numbers on the golf sand simulator because I want to know just how much potential is in it. So I'll start off with the standard shaft and as you can see put the longer shaft in there and I'm not going to lie guys, I struggled to keep it on the screen for some of these shots, I was really trying to crank it up. I did get more club head speed, I managed to kind of get it moving, I managed to get some low penetrating shots. But as you'll see in a second, I don't really think the juice was worth the squeeze because you look at the numbers and I managed to get a tiny bit more ball speed out there. But the spin rate was so high because I was just kind of struggling to really control it. So I actually lost a load of distance. You can see that the standard shaft went miles longer. They are my kind of really good standard numbers for the paradigm. I feel like I was swinging quite good on the day as well, but just really, really, really struggled to get it out there. So a lot closer numbers there than you may have anticipated. And the reason for that is... If it was easy, everyone would do it. And the skill to actually square these faces up, the skill to actually utilize the length of this driver shaft isn't something that's easy to do. So actually hitting the middle of the face happens a lot less often and is a lot more sporadic. So actually transferring those numbers to ball speed and accuracy is quite difficult. This is the long shaft again. See, that's one of the best ones I've hit. It's still fading a touch. That was right out of the screws. I'm interested to see if I can get up there with the standard paradigm driver. Interestingly, manufacturers did actually start providing slightly longer driver shafts a couple of years ago to make people think they were hitting it further because of technology in the head. And realistically, they were missing more fairways because it was a lot harder to control. If I'm stood on a tee, I know exactly which driver I want in my hands. And it's this one with that ball flight. Let's get down there, let's see what the differences are because they were both absolutely nuked. What a driver. 
And you see guys, this is typical of what I was saying earlier. That's another drive pretty much bang on the center line. And the longer shaft is down probably 10 yards further, maybe just a little bit less, but quite a long way off line in the end. And that's one that I actually hit really, really well. Which shot would you rather have in here, guys? I hope that does kind of spark a little bit of a discussion in the comments. I hope it makes you think about what you're using. I don't think there's anything in it. And every year I try this, I'm like, this time it will work. And I never actually change it. Guys, thank you so much. Smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.